last night at WrestleMania, Roman Reigns defeated Brock Lesnar in the main event, unifying the Universal and WWE Championships. Reigns has now done it all. Reigns is back on Raw to show off the brand new undisputed title. And to address the future, he says that he was the one before, but now he's the only one left standing. He says, there's no one left. I've smashed them all. So now what you see here is forever. Nothing is going to change this. Heyman hears that infamous music and he knows exactly who it is. He dips out of the ring quickly, leaving Reigns alone. Walter, he's not going to take a backward step. Yes, that's right, Walter. This is not Gunther, this is Walter. He saunters down the ramp and he gets in the ring and he stands face to face with Roman Reigns. The longest reigning UK champion of all time is face to face with the longest reigning universal champion in history. You could cut the tension with a knife. Both men not giving up any ground until Paul Heyman from outside the ring convinces Roman Reigns to leave this for now. And as they're halfway down the ramp, Paul Heyman turns around and looks at Walter and you can see the concern in his eyes. Reigns then calls him to come with him and Heyman follows. And just like two warships passing in the night, the confrontation leaves the crowd begging for more. In the weeks to follow, Walter would defeat Ricochet to win the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown. With only weeks of being called up to the main roster from NXT, the giant Austrian has already won gold. And for the next few months, both men defend their championships in dominating fashion. Walter's number one goal with the Intercontinental Championship is to restore the prestige. He takes on all comers, defending his title on every corner of the earth, delivering chops and lariats to everyone who stands before him. Reigns is exactly the same, defending the Undisputed Championship. Spear after spear after spear. Both men have been dominant in different divisions, but with the same ferocity. And it's very clear that both of these men are the most dominant athletes in the WWE. Months have passed since that moment. Both men have been dominant and we arrive at a fork in the road. Reigns has been tested and passed. Walter has been tested and passed, but they haven't had a chance to test each other. On the horizon for both men is SummerSlam and Roman Reigns is in the ring on SmackDown and he says he's all out of challenges. He's sick and tired of smashing everyone. He even goes as far to say he's contemplating retirement because well, there's nothing left to conquer. There's nothing left to do. I've beaten everyone. For the second time since his call-up, we hear the infamous tones of Walter's entrance music while Roman Reigns is in the ring. Only this time, it's different. He's not new. He's the reigning and defending intercontinental champion. Once again, Paul Heyman exits the ring and leaves Reigns to deal with Walter. And just like months ago on Raw, the two stand off, but this time, Walter is holding a championship of his own. Walter, who is a man of few words, says something very simple for Roman Reigns to understand. He says, you aren't truly the undisputed champion of WWE until you fight the ring general. Walter 
exits the ring, but before he can even turn around to get another look at Reigns, boom, he gets jumped by the Usos, the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. They hammer away on Walter and leave him laying at ringside, all while Reigns watches from inside the ring at a distance. The Usos walk off, Reigns looks at Heyman at ringside, and Heyman gives the word. He says, finish it before it starts, my tribal chief. Reigns doesn't even think about it. He leaves the ring. He looks at a down Walter. Then, bizarrely, he says, nah, actually, you know what? I'll let you live, but only for now. Reigns leaves and Paul Heyman follows. Heyman says to Reigns, my tribal chief, I... Th I think it'd be best if we stop this before it starts. Walters, Reigns cuts him off and he says, Paul, I'm in charge here, not you. We leave it for now. Heyman wilts immediately and he says, yes, my tribal chief, we will leave it. It's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Reigns walks off and Paul Heyman, who is lagging behind, turns around again and he looks at Walter, who is now standing. Heyman looks very, very concerned and Walter is furious. Walter is in a match the following week on SmackDown and he is fuming about being beaten down by the bloodline last week. He finishes off his opponent in quick order and then he looks down the barrel of the camera and he screams, Roman Reigns, come down here and face me like a man. But instead of Reigns, we hear the music of the Usos, of course, the henchmen, the cousins, the backbone of Roman Reigns' regime, the bloodline. Jay Uso is cocky and he says, Hey, Walter, look. We let you live last week, but you've got Roman's name in your mouth again. So, he sent us out here to finish what we started last week. It's just business, big guy. Walter is standing defiantly in the ring and then the lights go out in the arena. The crowd is wondering what the hell is going on. And the lights come back on and Imperium are standing behind the Usos and they smash the Usos. They down both of the brothers. Marcel Barthel and Fabian Eichner are here to even the odds. Once the damage is done, they throw each brother off to the side and they join Walter in the ring. But interestingly, it's only then that we get an appearance from the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, who is furious. He says, Walter, the message has been received loud and clear. I spared you last week, but next time I won't be so kind and you and your boys are in huge trouble now. This isn't NXT. You've been swimming with the fishes for too long. Now you're swimming with sharks. This is the real shit. The battle lines are drawn, so get ready for war. Reigns leaves. Walter, Barthel and Eichner stand defiantly in the ring. We're in for one hell of a ride to SummerSlam. The next week, it's a six-man tag match made by Adam Pearce. He wants the competitors to have the chance to let their frustrations out in a fair and reasonable way without the chaos that's taken place over the last two weeks. The match is as hard-hitting as you'd expect, and the two season tag teams have been going back and forth. But we are yet to see Walter and Reigns in the ring together. But then, the moment arrives, the tags are made, and finally, we get to see the two most dominant athletes in the middle of the same ring in a match. The two lock eyes. The crowd is on its feet. But before the two can touch, chaos ensues around them. The Usos have left the apron. They're taking it to Imperium on the outside of the ring. They brawl off into the crowd and up the ramp, leaving Reigns and Walter alone. The match has been thrown out. The crowd is baying for blood. But it's at this moment that a very concerned Paul Heyman again jumps up on the apron. 
He's pleading with Roman Reigns not to do it. He's pleading with Reigns to step down. Heyman has shown concern this whole time, clearly worried that Reigns might not be able to handle Walter. Reigns then exits the ring, much to the relief of Heyman. Reigns begins to walk off, Heyman still on the apron, and as Walter advances towards Heyman, out of sheer terror, Heyman jumps off the apron and runs for the hills. Does Heyman really think Roman Reigns, the Conqueror, can't handle Walter? Reigns! Last week, you showed me what you were made of. Nothing! You showed your true colors. You are a champion, but only on your own terms. Once you are challenged by a true and worthy champion, a real champion, you cower. You hide behind Paul Heyman. You hide behind the Usos and the bloodline. We were in the ring alone last week and you chose to run. Well now, I want to give you and the bloodline one more chance to prove you are not cowards. Firstly, Marcel and Fabian, they officially challenged the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam. This is your first chance to prove yourselves. Secondly, I'm challenging you for the undisputed championship at SummerSlam. You have tarnished the great lineage of this championship and just like I have restored the honor and prestige to the Intercontinental Championship, I will restore it to the undisputed championship as well. And speaking of my title, the prestigious Intercontinental Championship, I will put that on the line as well. Winner takes it all. You say you are the one, well I want you to prove it to me. Prove to me you honor the mat. Prove to me you are a true champion. Face me at SummerSlam. I want an answer tonight. Later in the night, we see Paul Heyman pacing around backstage in front of Roman Reigns. He's clearly concerned. He's shown all throughout that he is very hesitant about Reigns getting in the ring with the undefeated Walter. He says to Reigns, my tribal chief, I know the Usos already have accepted the challenge for SummerSlam. They're going to defend the titles, but that doesn't mean you have to. We need to think about this before we act. Roman makes it very clear. He says to Heyman, I've thought about it, Paul. I'm doing it. Jimmy and Jay will smash those two. Keep their titles, and then I'll smash Walter. I'll take his title, keep mine, and then the bloodline will be stronger than ever. But I have a question, Paul. Why are you so hesitant? Why are you trying to convince me not to do this? Are you doubting me? Heyman gingerly replies. He says, I'm sorry, my tribal chief. I will accompany you to the ring, but I'm just trying to say that Walter is a very different athlete than anyone we've ever seen. Rain swiftly and angrily replies, I'm different to anything we've ever seen, Paul. I'm not like anyone. I'm the one. Walter is just another one on my list. Rain storms straight out to the arena and only makes it as far as the entrance ramp. He grabs a camera, he looks down the barrel of it, and he says two words. I accept. The night has finally arrived. SummerSlam is here, and Roman Reigns is readying up for the fight of his life. Earlier in the night, Imperium had knocked off the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and Paul Heyman is panicking on a whole new level now. Heyman says, my tribal chief, it's not too late, I promise we can get out of this. You don't have anything left to prove, it's not worth it. And Reigns yells one final time, Paul, shut the hell up, I've got this. In fact, you keep your ass in the back for this. I don't need your negativity at ringside, shut your mouth. I don't want to see you again until you come to your senses and start thinking clearly. Heyman leaves. Roman is hyper-focused and he's ready for the fight of his life. The bell rings, 
finally, the moment has arrived. The two men stand across the ring from each other. The ring general versus the tribal chief. They stare down, but that doesn't last long. The two meet in the middle of the ring and the fight is on. The match gets to the dying stages. These men have thrown everything at each other. Reigns has hit two spears. He's had Walter in the guillotine, but he's powered out. Reigns is getting desperate. No one has ever pushed Reigns to this level before. He starts to wonder if maybe Heyman was right. Maybe Walter truly is different. And it comes down to the bare bones of what any fight is. Striking. Both men exhausted, trading shots. Reigns looks for one final effort. He attempts to hit another Superman punch, but Walter evades. He transitions into a rear naked choke. He drops down. He grapevines the body, and Reigns is fading fast. It's at this moment, Heyman sprints down to ringside. He's fully panicking now. He knows that Reigns is in deep trouble. Walter has him right where he wants him, and he is not letting go. Heyman is screaming from the apron to try and distract the referee, but he's not buying it. He knows what Heyman's like. Heyman jumps off the apron. He's pacing around. He's panicking. He screams at the referee to ring the bell. He screams at the referee that he is throwing in the towel. The referee, surprised, just like everyone in the building, calls for the bell. Unbelievable. As the Council of Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman is entitled to throw in the towel. And Reigns said to him earlier that he didn't want to see him until he was thinking clearly and making good decisions. Reigns never tapped. He was never pinned. Heyman chose his fate. Walter celebrates with the championship. He has conquered the conqueror. He is now the one. Walter now holds the Intercontinental and undisputed championships and we are in the era of the ring general